All right, guys, we're going to start our new unit. We're going to talk about the triangle mid-segment theorem, okay? What the triangle mid-segment theorem states is that the mid-segment is half of the base, okay? Let's go look at what the mid-segment is. The mid-segment is if you take the midpoint of two sides, okay? So I take the midpoint of AC, midpoint of CB. I find those midpoints. I draw a line. That line, this line right here, is called the mid-segment of the triangle. That mid-segment is parallel to the base. So it's parallel to the third side. And the length of this mid-segment is half the length of the base. So again, the triangle mid-segment connects the midpoints. And that mid-segment is parallel to the base and half the length of the base. So let's look here. Let's find X and the measure of angle C. Let's start with X. We have 5, X plus 19. That's our mid-segment because you see midpoint, midpoint. It equals one-half the base. You have the choice. You can multiply by 2 over here or... Since these are both even, I'm just going to distribute the one half. So I'm going to take it here and here. 5x plus 19, 9x plus 7. Bring this over, 4x is 12, x is 3. If I look at that, that gives me 15 plus 19, which is uh, 34, 4. And that gives me 454 plus 14, 68. 34 is half of 68. Let's look at the measure of angle C. Well, those two are congruent. Because don't I have parallel lines? Because of the triangle mid-segment, I have parallel lines. So the measure of angle C must equal 34. Because if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, what's their connection? Correct. Corresponding angles are congruent. And this reason here. Is triangle mid segment theorem. That's the reason for that one. Okay. Now let's look at how it works and and do some uh, corner geometry with it. We want to find the mid segment in relation to AB. So if I want to find that, that means I need the midpoint of AC. Four plus zero over two, six plus zero over two, two, three. D or E, it doesn't matter which one's which. Then I need the midpoint of BC, right? Because it's in relation to AB, so we have to find the midpoint of the opposite two sides. Six plus zero over two. 0 plus 0 over 2. 3, 0. How can I prove they're parallel? Exactly. We need the slopes. So let's find the slope of DE. Change in y over the change in x. Zero, zero minus three over three minus two. Negative three one. Negative three one. Now let's check the slope of AB. Zero minus six. Six minus four. 
negative 6 over 2, negative 3 over 1. Are they the same slope? Yep. So therefore, they are parallel. So we have shown that they are parallel by finding the slopes. We found the triangle mid-segment by finding the midpoints. Next, what do we know about the lengths? The mid-segment is half the base. So how can I prove that the mid-segment is half the base? That's right, good old distance formula, good old distance formula. So DE right, we got to subtract the x's, so see 3 minus 2, 3 minus 2, 0 minus 3. That becomes 1 squared is 1, negative 3 squared is 9. Radical 10. AB, we're going to do the same concept. Right, just our distance formula. We've done tons of distance formula. I know it's our favorite. 6 minus 4, 0 minus 6. 2 squared is 4. Negative 6 squared is 36. Radical 40. Remember, if we break that down, 2 radical 10. So is radical 10 equal to 1 half to radical 10? I think so. Radical 10 is radical 10. Okay? So that's how we show it works. Distance formula to show the lengths are half and slope to show that they're parallel. Last one, we're going to solve for x here. First, do I have a mid-segment? Well, 4x is equal to 4x. Hmm. Are they the same? Let's see, 26x minus 2 minus 3x. Or minus 13x minus 1. Right? Because... That's how we find the missing piece. 26 minus 13 is 13x. Negative 2 minus negative 1 is minus 1. So that's also 13x minus 1. They're the same. So by the triangle mid-segment theorem, 6x plus 10 equals 1 half 13x plus 11. Right, I show that they're mid-segment, so I can set this up. Now, I don't want to distribute this in here, because that's going to give me a bunch of fractions. So instead of distributing the one-half, I'm just going to multiply by two. Right, And that's why, I, instead of just doubling the other one, I always do the one-half just in case it can go into these evenly, because I smaller numbers will always make things better. Okay, It'll always make it easier to solve. 12x plus 20, 13x plus 11, x is 9. Okay. You'll see you have a couple to solve on your own. 1, 2, no, that's the same one. 1, 2, 3. Okay. Solve those, turn them in, we'll go over it in class.